Hi friends, I've got a very interesting conversation on right now. I'm with uh, Rakesh. Uh, Rakesh has been a bit of a source of inspiration for me actually by the kind of stuff that you've done with the alumnus network of IIM Bangalore. I'm an alumnus of IIM uh, Bangalore as Rakesh is and uh, we are here to talk about what he is doing. Uh, why did he choose to come into the academic world from being in the business world? So perhaps you want to just dive quickly into that Rakesh and talk about what this is about. Um, absolutely Rajiv. I think I stumbled my way around in the corporate for some time. Just like many others from the engineering colleges, portals of education, I come from Surat Kali and got a chance to work for the best companies, Wipro, then moved to Intel and then Qualcomm, all the best names and grew extremely fast. I mean, I think I enjoyed whatever I did. But somewhere deep dive, I also started asking a question that, does this make me happy? And uh, the answer was, I'm not so sure because I thought that all I did was uh, make some jazzy presentations, um, uh, kind of spoke to people, worked on some technology which excited me. But when I would sleep at night, I would always say that I think I want to do something else that mm -hmm. makes me supremely happy. And with time, that answer came slightly clearly that when I am teaching or I am helping someone, mm -hmm. coaching their thoughts, and I started to work with entrepreneurs and I taught for as much as I can remember from 98 onwards, I would end the session with a tremendous joy. And I asked a simple question that can I make this as my lifetime job, mm -hmm. which was more of a passion than then not very well paying. So the question was, do I leave this high paying job, which is okay, but not keeps me supremely happy or should I move towards an academic life, giving back. And academic life is not just teaching, it is also about creating institutions mm -hmm. of the future. Mm -hmm. And I strongly, that answer came to my mind that now or never. Mm -hmm. So in 2008, I just jumped from the corporate uh, high profile position I had getting probably one of the biggest salary packages at my age. Uh, but I haven't looked back. So mm -hmm. this is my fourth year. I now am following my passions and dreams. I head the alumni of IIM Bangalore and the fundraising office. I'm an adjunct professor here and a few other colleges. And by God's grace, I actually every day live that life where I do something I thoroughly enjoy. Don't feel I'm working at all. It's like a non-stop vacation. And I'm able to still meet my financial and my social obligations. Mm -hmm. So it's been a brilliant journey so far. Fantastic. And guys, I can attest to that fact because Rakesh is a bit of a rock star in the Alan yeah. Networks right now. You know, he's the most fated guy out there. He walks into the room and everybody yeah. sort of, hey Rakesh, uh, we want to get you, get you and all that. And um, uh, as if it's a rock star, rock star, he's actually written a book as well. So perhaps we should get into the, the book. You know, so you've written a book called Trans. Yes. Yeah. You know, what is it about? See, Plunge is a journey that uh, started way back in 94. Mm -hmm. I started writing a journal. I probably was not a born writer and I still don't think I'm a great writer. It's a journey that is born. Mm -hmm. But deep inside me, I would write every day. It would be thoughts of what happened in the day. It would be some philosophical thing. It would be some incident that changed my thought process. And I kept on doing it. And uh, when I left the corporate world in 2008, uh, in Qualcomm and I came to IIM Bangalore, I had a lot of time to purge my thought mm -hmm. process. And that purgatory thought or the purged thoughts became notes in my journal. And uh, I wanted to write a book. My father is a deep inspiration in me and he always said that you should write. I think knowledge creation is the biggest gift you can give to the mm -hmm. society. And one day when I was uh, out of my pocket of car, chilling out in life, my neighbor who is a person who left a very high paying flying job and he's now a farmer. Mm -hmm. He invited me to his farmhouse which is 8 hours from Bangalore. Wow. So we started the car at 4 in the morning and during the 8 hour drive, I asked him all the standard questions anybody would ask that why would you leave your job to do this, aren't you afraid and why farming of all things. And he kept on answering very honestly and that night in his farmhouse in that lovely experience of a waterfall and his farmhouse and pristine nature, I wrote down that entire interview. Wow. And that became the first chapter of the book and I was, it was like a shot of excitement that man, I need to write more. 
And the next day I gave the chapter to this friend of mine, Pratap, my dear friend and neighbor. And uh, he said, wow, this is great. When I have another friend, would you like to talk to him? And uh, if you know Little Italy, which is a restaurant mm -hmm. in front of Forum Kormangla, one of the best restaurants of vegetarian food, Anirudh is a person who left again a corporate life to start a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I immediately called Anirudh and three days from that day we met in Little Italy and that became the second chapter. Very cool. And the third chapter became my wife who left everything to become a dancer. Mm -hmm. And then I just kept on meeting very interesting people. So Plunge, which is my book, uh, you know, is a uh, very interesting, it's like my child and I have two lovely children, this is my third child. Um, I think it became a journal of two years of being a nobody and it started as a document but it then became a research document which talked about that if you're a person who has certain dreams and desires, don't stop at just doing your 9 to 5 job or 9 to 9 job. And don't think that life is all about paying bills and uh, bringing up families and one day dying mm -hmm. of miserable death. I think the first step is that first live your life. Mm -hmm. Because if you live your life to the maximum potential, you will be a human being that will spread joy and love much better than what you were earlier. And that became the guiding principle of plunge. That plunge is a symbolic jump from where you were to where you want to go. It is risky, it is dangerous. It is like uh, the Nicolas Cage movie, um, uh, The Angel, City of Angels. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But if you want to leave your exalted angelic status and want to live your life loving that person, you have to let go. And you don't know what that life is. It might be scary, dirty, no money, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But hey, what the heck, I want to do it. And that becomes the journey. So Plunge is about 15 stories of normal people like you and me who decided that this is what I want to do. I will still live my life, pay my bills. Maybe I want to afford a great dinner with a family in a fancy restaurant. But I'm supremely happy enjoying an evening with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's become a movement nowadays. So I go to workshops and help people follow their dreams. Um, I meet people who are like, you know what? I really think I'm a great uh, runner or a cook and I'm like so if you're a cook you know really go and join a restaurant and see how it goes you might become a person who's much more successful as a cook than a project manager in some company. absolutely <laughs> I think that's a that's a very inspiring story yeah. right? uh, um, and I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a great uh, message for everybody out there right? including all of us for sure the last question really, Rakesh, you know, um, I was always, um, I was, last week I received an email from Rakesh that said, um, you know, we are going to raise 800 crores for I am Bangalore. Uh, and um, obviously the question was, I mean, like typical Rakesh is an audacious goal, I, I just love that thing about him. Right? Do you want to talk about what the future was for you? Yeah, so, you know, I have stumbled into a very interesting journey, uh, which I didn't know, but now I would like to talk about it. It's called Academic Administration. Mm -hmm. You know, we all who are producers and products of Suratkal and I am Bangalore and I'm sure you are one of them too and many more friends out there. I think we should give some time back to our temples of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Totally. And agree. there is a massive career in that domain. So I came here, set up the alumni association, now I'm the CEO, I don't like being called, I like being called a nobody. And now I'm setting up the fundraising office and I feel that this is a professional job. It requires a massive vision, application of our learnings and it's a massive uh, impact to the society. You know, 10 years from now, I hope we reach that goal, 10 years from now, we will produce human beings who are of totally different kind of nature. They'll be leaders, entrepreneurs, they'll be people who will change the world. And to me, to see that day where my alumni and all of us say that, you know what, we were part of that plan and because of our resources we could produce that is such a spectacular life to live absolutely and I would like everybody out there to get this message that uh, come back and give you know a life of taking is one life you can live but you will get bored I can challenge you about that a life of giving is something you will thoroughly enjoy and you will have a great time so I am Bangalore is on a journey to produce that society and I would want everybody out there to participate and engage with us. So an open invitation to all of you, uh, please come and engage with us and help us reach there.
Brilliant. Thanks, Adnan, and best of luck, Rocket. Thank you so much.